This has gotta speed up your editing process by at least 10 times. So let's just hop straight into it. So on the topic of AI, of course, all of the AI goodness, we've got AI editing, AI calling, AI video editing, so many AI things. And today we're gonna to talk about AI culling. So culling all of your photos, essentially culling is when you go through all of your photos after a shoot and pick out the good ones and get rid of the bad ones. And this software and multiple other ones out there will literally go through your photos for you and pick the good photos. So you can just boop, get right into the editing. Cause as we know, culling probably takes the longest when you're going through thousands of photos for a wedding or some other shoot. So. Let's just get into how to make your editing 10 times faster with an AI Colleen software. The one I'm using today is called Filter Pixel. They have both Colleen and editing. So to start here, we're looking at a few different galleries I did and I tested a few different things to see if it's beneficial for different types of shoots. This first one is a full wedding. It's not all the photos because I, there's so many photos. But this is a wedding gallery uh, and it had about 4,000, 5,000 photos ish. Um, and it went through and culled a decent amount of them. So in Filter Pixel, you'll see a few different things. You have these options up here, which is basically ones that were automatically approved, ones that were not approved or denied, and then ones that were denied here. Down here, you can adjust the quality of the focus, make it better, make it worse. So it'll filter out photos that didn't have great focus or did, uh, and then it'll filter out eye quality as well. So the better the eyes looked in the photo, whether they're closed, they're squinted, not looking. Uh, you can adjust the quality of that as well. Now, I normally don't touch these too much um, just because I wanna see what photos are out there. And we'll just start with the first downfall. Downfall number one is there's 2,100 photos that were approved, but there's 2,800 photos that were unassigned, which means they didn't know whether to approve or deny it. So those are all photos you probably still have to go through or at least skim through to see if there's anything that you need. Um, however, having 2,100 photos approved is still probably way more than enough, but there might be photos in your unassigned or even denied section that you wanted. So for example, I took this photo specifically out of focus to get the background and the AI software may see this as an out of focus photo and then deny it so that it doesn't go into your approved folder. And you may be wondering like, where's the photo that I took? And it's probably in the denied section. So it's not a perfect science, but it does a decent job for saving you a ton of time. So looking through all these photos, the approved ones all look pretty good. There's some here and there that you're like, why did it approve this? Uh, but other times you might find photos that it denied that you wanted or that just didn't make sense. So, and it also does sometimes tell you why it was reject this one says out of focus uh, let's go take a look at the unassigned ones and you might find some really good photos in here and then also not great so what i've found so far looking at these photos is that the approved photos are generally pretty good um, the unassigned photos are generally half and half and then the denied ones are usually ones that you would normally deny anyway it gets rid of the out of focus someone not looking stuff like that so it does a really good job. It definitely will still speed up your editing process, even if you have to go through some photos still, which it makes sense. You can't just trust it fully with your heart right off the bat. Um, it needs some learning to do, but it only does take between 10 minutes and an hour, depending on how many photos. If I'm doing a few hundred photos, you know, 600 to 700, it took about 20 minutes. Whereas when I did four to 5,000 photos, it took about an hour. Uh, so it even says like, oh, we saved you almost two hours. It took an hour and five minutes to get the choline done. So an hour is much better than, you know, a few hours of, you know, doing it yourself because you can go do other stuff while it's culling and doing its thing. You don't have to sit there and watch it. The actual process of it culling is really good. However, there are some downfalls. I already talked about a few of them, but I wanted to go over just a few other uh, downfalls that it has. One of them being it doesn't work super well for in my opinion non 
people photos. Um, so like these photos are portraits of an elopement. It found really good photos. It got rid of the bad ones. It, it approved 53 photos out of a couple hundred, which is perfectly fine for me because this was a smaller elopement. I'm only gonna deliver so many photos um, and it, it works out super well for me. Same with doing the engagement session. You know, I have 700 photos. I only need to deliver 15 to 30 photos. So having it narrow it down to already 138, that's perfectly fine for me. It only takes me 10 minutes to go through 138 photos and then pick, you know, my top 15 to 30 photos. That is much better than going through all 700 to find the best photos that I want. Now, when it comes to your full wedding galleries, we're talking thousands of photos. You're still probably gonna have to spend some time going through them because obviously it still picked 2,100 photos and that's a lot to, you know, obviously deliver. You're gonna deliver a few hundred probably, but not, a thousand or two. So it's still gonna save you some time though. But let's get into the other topic here. Uh, if you're doing, in my opinion, like travel photos. Uh, so I took photos of both my girlfriend and I, as well as some landscapes. And you'll notice it only denied eight photos. And I can tell you there's definitely more than eight photos that I wouldn't have kept. Um, I don't know why it would have deleted this one uh, because I believe this is actually one that I ended up editing and it turned out to be a really good photo um, back when I did this gallery. I already did this one, so it's a done deal. Um, going through basically all of the photos still. I mean, it only denied eight of them and one of them was a good photo. So I'm still going through this whole gallery. Uh, same thing for uh, another travel gallery. It only denied 16 photos and they are, you know, acceptable. They're just cars and stuff in the way and not great photos. Um, but again, I'm still having to go through the entire gallery here. Uh, and then lastly, we had a proposal, which is mostly portrait type deal uh, with a big landscape in the background, similar to like an elopement. I uh, did get rid of 231 out of about a thousand photos, but we can go back and look at some of these other photos. And you know, like this one was rejected. Uh, it says it's out of focus. Um, I guess it's barely out of focus. It's like focused on his shoulder. Um, it's not a terrible photo though. I, I think that should more or less be under the unassigned section, but there might be a photo that is also good. Uh, that looks just like that. So you never know until you go through all of these photos. And it is still really hard to go through so many photos to make sure they're good. Um, the last thing I wanted to mention about this software is you can click on a photo and if it, sh if it finds faces in the photo, it will show up on the right side here so that it, you can see if the photo is in focus, if their eyes are in a certain spot and everything like that. So this is a good example here. You can see how crisp their faces look, which is why this is probably unassigned. They're not sure if the photo is good. I would say this is a good photo. I would edit this photo, uh, but obviously there's a ton more photos to edit. So it may not have been, you know, picked. So yeah, that's filter pixel. Uh, this is one out of the many AI calling softwares. I don't know if there's a better one out there. I'm sure there might be one that does different things that are better or worse, etc. cetera. Uh, but I would say investing in an AI calling software will probably save you a ton of time. I can tell you, I was able to finish an entire, um, engagement session in just a few hours because I already basically had everything cold. It went through and it, it brought it down to about 150 photos out of a few hundred. And I was able to pick my favorite 15 to 20 photos and edit them and get them finished. Whereas if I had to go through all thousand or a few hundred photos to cull first, that itself would have taken like an hour or two, let alone going through the editing process as well. So you will save a ton of time in your editing process, having this AI calling software. And there are AI editing softwares too that learn your editing style and apply it to different photos that make it work. So that's another thing to look out for too. So that's it for today's video. Hopefully this helps you speed up your process and uh, we'll see you on the next video.